Have you ever had a dream that wouldn't go away, but you were afraid to change, to leave your comfortable life for it? I can tell you from my own experience that it is possible to have both. Even as a girl, I knew that cross-cultural friendship was, uh, would contribute peace to the world. And so it's no surprise that it's always been a dream of mine to, to do service and work in Africa. But how, but how to make that dream a reality when I was so rooted in my life here on Whidbey Island? And I was so deeply rooted here, and yet something else was calling. It was easy to disregard that call. There are all kinds of voices inside that tell us not to listen. Life's comforts and obligations have a way of benevolently chaining us in place. But how, so, so I peered into the future from where I was embedded in my social networks, my activities, my family responsibilities, and I knew that I would need a solid strategy to untangle myself from my life as a self-employed mom in order to try something new. So I took that as a challenge. And on New Year's 2001, I stayed up late starting my Peace Corps application online. I, know, I, I had no sense that I would follow through with it particularly. I just kept following my inner nudges. Meanwhile, I began to look for an, a time, I began to look for the right window in time for action. My aging father would need to be well, doing well. My, my son would have to have graduated from school, and I, my work would have to be in a place where I could put it on hold. And I wasn't sure when all of that would align, but I, I decided to start moving in the right direction anyway. There were a lot of details that had to be worked out. And I, I knew that emotional issues would arise as well as I faced letting go of a well-loved life. I just couldn't get directly to Africa from where I was physically and mentally. It was going to take, it was going to take a few years before I had loosened all my tent pegs and was free to go. Looking back, I can see that I staged my getaway in two steps, moving first to Boulder as a, as a test run and then committing to a longer time abroad. Moving to Boulder forced me to make household and financial arrangements that, that I could use later to go further and for longer. The global stretch of technology made banking, bill paying, communications easier. And I just kept taking baby steps until all my, all my systems were in place. I found volunteer work in Boulder with an organization called Bead for Life based in Africa. Two years later, I took my next big step into the unknown this time with Bead for Life, but as a program, as a project coordinator, working for a year in Africa. I was finally in Africa. And being in Africa exhilarated me. Six years after starting my application, I committed to a two-year Peace Corps service in Botswana. When that ended, I accepted a second Peace Corps service, two-year Peace Corps service in Mozambique. And when that was done, I came back to my own garden on Whidbey and began tying down my tent pegs again. And if I had not done all this slow mustering of courage and resources, I'm sure I would have still been happy here but I wouldn't have known that even during a business meeting in Botswana, the, the professionals jumped to their feet and dance. <laughs> I wouldn't have learned so much from, about living with HIV and AIDS from inspired colleagues who themselves are living with the virus. 
I wouldn't have had the chance to team up with a young Mozambican woman and teach basic business skills to women and girls. I wouldn't have seen what poverty in sub-Saharan Africa really is. I wouldn't have seen the incredible strength of the African women, how gracefully they carry an impossible amount of water on their heads. If it were true that you become a millionaire by hard work alone, then all the women in Africa that I saw would be millionaires. By creeping out of my comfort zones, I was able to experience the challenges and the thrills of completely turning my life upside down and completely reinventing myself within new cultures, new work worlds, and new languages. And best of all, I was able to give useful service to others. By making my preparations carefully, I was able to come back to Whidbey, but with a bigger heart and a much wider worldview. Thank you. Thank you.